The sweet and swift Diamond DA50RG launched in September 2020 after it was certified in Europe. Since then, the Austrian company has built and delivered more than 50 of the newest piston single retract on the market. I had my chance to fly the game-changing airplane in April after visiting Aero Friedrichshafen in Germany. That was a bonus because it meant I could fly it on a two-hour cross-country over to Diamond's home in Wiener Neustadt, south of Vienna. Along the way, we take a couple of turns around famous sites, Salzburg, Neuschwanstein Castle, and the hamlet of Hallstatt. We saw between 160 and 167 knots true airspeed at 90% load during the cross-country flight, staying in a two-ship a bit slower than the DA-50's normal cruise at 172 knots. I'd also get some practice flying formation in the fading light as we tucked in together on the final leg, and it felt really good in the DA-50. The Continental CD300 is the largest in the series to make it through certification, and it sips Jet A while cranking out 300 horsepower. Its weight, 560 pounds, makes up a large portion of the airplane's empty weight, with the composite airframe structures combining strength and lightweight in a handsome trade-off. A diesel engine is self-igniting, with no magnetos, so the starting process begins with heating the combustion chambers before lighting off, before our actual flight test flight from the factory. On the takeoff roll, the power combo of the CD300 and MT prop pull us off in less than 2,000 feet at our light weight on the test flight. We were fully loaded with four people in a show's worth of bags on the flight from Germany, so it's interesting to see the difference. I warm up with a few steep turns and lazy aids, getting used to the da 50 center control stick. It flies well, though it stands a little taller than the one I'm used to. Excellent low-speed handling shows up in the stall series, where the aerodynamics of the wing show well. Two-piece flaps, an inner part attached to the center wing section, and an outer part to the wing itself ensure that the air stays adhered to the upper surface of the wing. Instrument approaches were not in the cards for the VFR-only strip, but we followed the charted visual procedure back in for a few landings. The sight picture on landing feels straightforward for a pilot transitioning up from another diamond or another four-seat high-performance single. We threw in a no-flap landing to demonstrate the DA-50's capability even on a modest strip like that at Wiener Neustadt, with a higher approach speed of 94 knots and a slightly longer landing roll as a result, still close to book values at 1,700 feet at our lighter weight. A short field approach put our ground roll under 600 feet, using the hydraulically actuated disc brakes to maximize that effort. Diamond won FAA certification in July at EAA AirVenture and launched a demo tour across the U.S. to show off its sleek new model. The DA50RG is the new contender in the single-engine retract segment the modern expression to take the place of the Bonanza series, perhaps, with new fuels and new possibilities for the future.